Thank you so much for joining us for 13 News at 7. I'm Patrick Simon. And I'm Lily Bradley. A middle school in Kanawha County is getting a major boost from a nationally renowned program to save the arts. Last year, the band director applied for a grant with VH1 Save the Music Foundation and thought the chances of being chosen were slim to none. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick reports that for students and faculty, the help really strikes a chord. At McKinley Middle School, the hall's bustling with young, curious minds. Quick like a bunny, chop, chop, chop. Who are itching to try something new. One, two, ready, and. A little thing called music. This time around, they've got the gear to satisfy everyone's curiosity. My parents bought my instrument, everybody bought their own instrument, and only the kids who played the really big things like sousaphone played a school instrument. As time has progressed, that's not the option for a lot of kids. And for those who give it a whack, they either love it or hate it. I started last year in sixth grade. I love it. It's really fun. And if it wasn't for VH1's Save the Music Foundation, Kendall would still be using a clarinet that didn't play all the notes. 36 instruments secretively delivered at McKinley's front office. They were so new that they were still wrapped in tissue paper inside the boxes. You don't get that very often, even at the music store. VH1 was looking to help a middle school with an active music program. The middle school needing supplies to strengthen their program. It's really nice because a clarinet can cost a lot of money. This one is $1,200, so it's just kind of hard to get new instruments, a lot of them, and it's just an honor to get them. This is just an example of how things come together in harmony. And with a few program checkups from VH1 itself, the sweetest note to it all, that these instruments will forever belong to McKinley Middle School. So students curious about the world of music can properly dabble into the art. In St. Albans, I'm Haley Kosick for 13 News, working for you. <laughs> Still got it. What a talent. Each right. one says they are thrilled to give McKinley this opportunity and plan to make their first visit Friday, October 26th to meet the kids and staff. 13 News will make sure to be there.